Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Today I want to talk about business units. And mainly, you know, when you create a Dynamics 365 environment or a trial, it always generates a business unit, which essentially follows the name of your organization. In my case, it's Gus0420. And if I open that business unit, you will notice that there's only two required fields in the business unit, which is the name, you need a name, and then you need a parent business unit. Now, the problem with that is that the main business unit that is created, also known as the root business unit, doesn't have a parent, but you want to rename it. So what happens if you want to rename it to, let's say, test BU or something like that? Or let's, you know, you can use the name of your company. But if you try to save this, obviously it says you must provide a value for parent business. So that is a requirement, but there's no records to pick. So what do you do? Well, there's really two ways to do it. One way is that you can go into the customizations, make this field not required, and then you can rename it, save it, and then make it required again if you want to do that. So it will take, I don't know, about 10 minutes to rename this business unit if you want to do the whole process. And then there's the second way to do it, which is by using Excel. And that's the way I want to show you today. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So here from within business units, I'm going to select my business unit and I'm going to click on the export to Excel button. So it's going to be super fast. We're going to go ahead and open that record. It opened up in another screen. So let me just move it to this one. All right, there it is. So we're going to expand this and enable editing, of course. So let's go ahead and name it something else. So let's just call this Charlie, which is my duck's name. Why not? So we're going to save this record. Let's save it. Uh, let's put it somewhere where it's easy to find. So let's just go into the desktop and we're going to uh, let's just leave active business units. Why not? So let's save that. Now we're going to go back to dynamics. And in here, we're going to go into data management, of course, imports. And we're going to import data choose a file we're gonna look for our desktop and active business units there it is next and submit and that's pretty much it now we just have to wait until this completes which can take anywhere from one minute to five minutes or so depending on you know what time of the day it is and how much load it's on the system but let's come back in a couple minutes whenever it's done so we can review what happened Okay, so now that you can see it has been completed, let's go and review what happened to our business unit. So we're gonna go back to security, business units, and there you go, it has been renamed to Charlie. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.